ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಇಂದು ನಾವು ಜಾವಾದಲ್ಲಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸಸೈಸ್ ಮಾಡಲಿದ್ದೇವೆ ದ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಫಾಲೋಸ್ ಡಿಸೈನ್ ಎ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಟು ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಎ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಅಕೌಂಟ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡ್ ದಿ ಫಾಲೋವಿಂಗ್ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಕನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಟರ್ ದಿ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ name of the depositor that we are supposed to know no account number balance amount in the account so use a parameterized constructor to assign the value once the class is created then use menu driven program to deposit an amount to withdraw an amount after checking that the minimum balance is 500 and to display the name and balance so these things has to be done using the java so let's switch to the net means i am going to start a new project and in this project i am going to create a project with the name banking you can give any other name i am going to just say banking and i am going to just finish it off now i need to create a class so to create a class i am going to go to this banking here and i am going to go to this part that is uh, under banking i am going to click on the plus sign and then i am going to click on the source packages and then i am going to click on banking so this is a package and i have this class banking dot java in the same place i am going to right click and i'm going to say new java class so under this package that is banking package i'm going to just right click and say new java class i'm going to call this as bank account so this is the name i'm going to give to my class then i'm going to just click finish button so i have a class with the name bank account here i am supposed to store few things what are the things that i am supposed to store i am supposed to store a string i am supposed to store a string i think i am getting a bit confused whether i am in capital or in small case i think i am in uh, the proper uh, case so string and uh, i'm going to say name of the person okay hope uh, this is correct i'm just getting confused whether uh, this is capital or small case okay i think it is proper then i want uh, integer account number so i'm going to say account number i'm going to type it in full account number then we are supposed to store a balance so i'm going to store b a l a n c e so just to make uh, the things bit proper i'm going to just make the first letter in small case the reason behind it is uh, the variables name generally start with the small case letter now this is what um, i need to store apart from this so you can store many other things like you can also store string account type again i'm used to this uh, creating something in capitals so i'll just make it as account type as small case now uh, why i'm doing this one as a uh, small case is by convention java says that uh, Uh, if you are creating a variable start it with the small case letter and then you can go with the camel casing in case uh, if you want to 
use the other word. Now we are supposed to create a constructor. Creating a constructor in uh, NetBeans is a child's play. You can just press Control and Space. So what did I do? I just pressed Control and Space. When you do that, it will show you that do you want to create a empty, that is a parameterless constructor or do you want to create a parameterized constructor? So this is the one that I really wanted. I'm going to just press enter and you notice that how beautifully the NetBeans has created a constructor for me. Okay. But I am not going to do that thing. I'm going to try this on my own. Let's try. It's not a, a difficult task. So what do we need here is we know very well when we create a constructor, it is public and it must have the same name as that of the class. Then I need to supply the parameters. So let me supply the first parameter as a account number. Just I'm going to say account AC number. Okay. And uh, I'll make it as ACC number. Oops, again, I'm somehow I have bad habit of uh, making things in capitals. So I will just make uh, the first letter as small case. And then I'm going to say string A account name. Then I'm going to say string. account type finally i'm going to go here and then say double okay initial initial amount so i did that initial amount that is when you start the account what is the initial amount that you're going to or store. So I have this account number, account name, account type, and the initial amount. Let me create the constructor. Now what I need to do here is this account number, I want to store it in the account number. Account name, I have to store it in the account name. Account type, I have to store it in the account type. The balance, I have to store it here. So I need to do that thing. Let, let me quickly do that part. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to say my account number, so my account number is equal to ACC number. So that's the first thing. Then I need to store the name. So my name is equal to ACC name. So that's my second one. Then I'm going to say account type equal to ACC type. So that's the next one. And then balance equal to initial amount. So this is what uh, I have done. So what I'm doing is I am getting the parameter from the outside world and I then store it here or in other words I store it in this location. Okay, so I have that thing. Now they said that uh, I am supposed to create a few methods. Let me create a few methods. What are the few uh, methods over here? Now the few methods that uh, I'm supposed to do is to add the uh, deposit that is the uh, add amount into the account that is the deposit and uh, withdraw money from the account as well as display the account balance. So let me create a public method. So I'm going to return the balance amount from here. So this double I'm returning is the balance amount. Whenever I deposit something in my account, 
I'm going to show what is the balance. Suppose if you have 50 rupees in your account and if I deposit 10 rupees, then the current balance will be 60 rupees. So that's simple as that. So I'm going to call this one as deposit. The method is deposit. In order to deposit, you need some amount. So I will just call this as amount. So how do we do that thing? First of all, I'm going to just check that if that amount is greater than zero, that means if this amount is negative, so what will happen? You can't deposit it. So you can deposit uh, in minus 50 rupees. So if it is uh, plus 50 rupees, you can deposit. How do you deposit? When you deposit, what's going to happen? Your balance is going to increase. So balance is equal to balance plus the amount. So as simple as that. Suppose if it is negative, so I'm going to just uh, print a message and I'm going to say, please enter a positive amount so as simple as that so this is i'm doing it because uh, i want to say that you have entered a negative amount finally i am supposed to return the balance so as simple as that i return the balance so i take the amount what is deposit when you deposit, what happens? Your balance increases. Suppose in your account, suppose your account has uh, 500 rupees and you deposit uh, 50 rupees. So what will be the balance now? 550. So this is as simple as that. Okay, so let's look at uh, the next one. Okay. And that is uh, withdrawal. So public double withdraw so withdraw and double amount so you are withdrawing something how do you uh, withdraw the amount so again first thing i'm going to do here is uh, i'm going to check if the withdrawal amount itself is negative if the amount is less than zero i'm going to just print a message saying that please enter positive amount okay else when you withdraw suppose say so there is one problem so suppose say you have 500 rupees and now if you want to withdraw 10 rupees what's going to happen so what will be the balance balance is now you know very well it is 490 rupees so that's no problem uh, with this kind of thing but what is the problem with the question yes so let's look at the question the question says that when you withdraw the money you have to check that the balance is minimum balance is 500 so if the minimum balance is uh, not 500 you are not allowed to withdraw the money so let's do that part over here so what happens is when you subtract from the balance i am not doing anything i'm just uh, calculating so i have this balance balance minus the amount that uh, you are trying to withdraw so if this is less than 500 then we need to give a message to the user saying that this is not possible so let me give a message to the user okay withdrawal withdrawal is not permitted okay. as okay, i'm going to just press enter here and uh, uh okay i'll type it here as it will 
result in okay minimum ban okay i'm going to type it here because uh, you may find it difficult remember uh, this is not really required you can type it in a uh, full line but i'm going to just uh, make it uh, uh, appear beautifully so so what did i wrote withdrawal is not permitted as it will result in minimum balance less than rupees 500 so what i am giving a message to the user saying withdrawal is not permitted as it will result in minimum balance less than 500 so if you try to reduce suppose if you have a balance let me show it one more time to you so if you have the balance as 500 rupees so let's say that must be the minimum that is required as far as the question 500 rupees must be there if you deduct 40 rupees from uh, this one then this will lead if you allow it it's going to end up in uh, the balance as 460 which is not allowed as far as the question if you look at the question the, what does the question says question simply says that uh, the minimum amount balance amount must be 500 so we will not permit uh, that thing so as simple as that now let's go and let's uh, finish it off if these two conditions are not there so let me then reduce the balance so how can i reduce the balance balance is a minus equal to amount you hope uh, you know what is this minus equal to what is minus equal to minus equal to uh, is nothing but balance is equal to balance minus amount simple as that once all the things have been done i am going to just in any case i am going to return the balance amount so as simple as that the third thing that they have asked is uh, to show the if you look at the question the third thing that they have asked is uh, display the name and balance i'm going to display the whole thing uh, because uh, that makes uh, some sense okay so let me write a method over here let me call this as public method so public this method does not return anything void okay display details okay. and it does not take anything it's going to just return uh, do something so i'm going to say uh, system dot out dot ln first i'm going to say account number slash d so you know what is slash d that is the tab separation okay mm, deposit uh, name slash d account type this is all heading that i am showing account type slash t i want them to be separated by a tab and finally balance even though the question says you just show the balance i would have shown just the balance for exam if you just want you just show only the balance then i'm going to display everything so let me show that thing so what is the first thing i'm supposed to show is account number so i start with the account number plus i'll put a slash t or tab then i'm supposed to give the name of the uh, account okay so name then plus tab so i'm doing that and then i am supposed to put uh, the next one plus the next one is the account type so acc type okay i'm going to do that thing plus tab and finally i'm going to show the balance amount so balance finally i'll put the semicolon that's all i need to do so this is what i'm supposed to do it if you want this is if you want it's not really required you just put dash 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 uh, to make it uh, appear beautifully okay just to make it uh, beautiful so this is what uh, we have done so we have created our bank account now let's go back to the 
main program. So bank account we have created. Let's go to the banking.java. So banking.java has a public void main. So this main method. Let's go to the, so I have switched from the banking account to the banking. So I'm in the banking and then which has the public static void main. So this is the one. I'm going to just uh, type the program over here. So what do I need to create a uh, account? So I need the name of the person. So I need a, a person name. Okay. I need a, a type of account. Uh, let me again, I'm used to this uh, capital type of account. I need uh, the account number, which is uh, integer. So account number, I need that thing. And I, I need uh, the balance amount, okay. balance amount. So this much I need. Let me accept all these things from the user. So we know very well in order for us to read something, we are using scanner. So scanner is uh, inside java.utility. So let me go to the scanner. I'm going to call it as in, and I'm going to initialize this uh, scanner. So, and I'm going to give it an input stream, which is nothing but system dot in. Oops, in. Okay, let me read uh, all the things. So account, I'm going to say creating new account. We can give any name here. And let me put a dash 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 to make it uh, beautiful. So first thing I want to do is get the name of the person. So how do I get the name of the person? To get the name of the person, it's very simple. I need uh, to ask a question. Okay. Please enter name. Okay. Now I want it to come in the same line. So I'm going to just make it as print rather than print line. You know very well print line means it's going to go to the next line. Print will, it's going to stop in the same line. So I'm going to read the account uh, that is a person's uh, name. So I'm going to say person name is equal to in dot, in dot next, this next line. So there is this next line, which is going to read the next line. Let me continue and uh, let me try to read the account number. So I'm going to say account number. Again, as usual, I don't want uh, the print. Let's zoom it a bit. Print as such. And also let me not please someone by saying please. Let me just say enter the name, so that will be fine. I'm going to now read the account. If you notice over here, that is the account number. I need to read that thing. So account number equal to in dot next int. So that will read the account number. Then let me read the next one, s out. And then I am supposed to read the account type. Now this will be the account type. Again, as usual, I'm going to just uh, remove this ln from the print so that it will just print uh, the, the same line. And I am supposed to read the account, let me say account type, I think uh, I wrote something very terribly, very large thing. That is type of account. So let me uh, type that thing. Type of account is equal to again same thing in dot next line. After that, I'm going to just say yes out. 
and then I'm going to say initial val initial deposit. Let me say instead of that deposit. And again, I'm going to do this. Also, I don't want it to come in the next line, so I'm going to just remove this ln so that it will come in the same line. And this will this will be my balance. So balance is equal to in dot next double. That's it. I've read everything. Let me run this program, and I'm going to show you that uh, there is going to be some problem. So let's run this program. And uh, when I run this program, uh, you notice that uh, you have the account na uh, name. So I'm going to say put my name, and then uh, I'm going to type the account number one two three four. That's also nice. Uh, and uh, initial, you notice that uh, it has just uh, skipped the account type here. So it just skipped the account type. And uh, it is going for the initial deposit, which is uh, which I'm going to say 500 rupees is the minimum balance. So what you notice over here is uh, when I typed the, if you look at here, when I type this one, two, three, four, and press enter for the next line, what has happened is this account type, it is not waiting. It is simply going to the other one. What happened? So problem with this one is, when I typed one, two, three, four, which is the account number, it got saved. It got saved, but this uh, new line was there, which is this new line. That's the enter sign, the enter new line character. That was kept in the memory. So this new line was read by the account type. So one small problem. So whenever you have the integer or a, a floating point number or double that has been read, when you press enter, that enter will remain in the buffer. Enter will not be consumed. So after that, after reading a number, if you try to read a text that is the line, that the new line character will be simply given to the string here, that is the account type and then the program will continue. So what am I supposed to do there? So this uh, leftover enter sign, which is not consumed by the integer. You know very well, enter sign has nothing to do with the integer. So this one, two, three, four is an integer number. So it will read that integer number, but that enter sign is not an integer. So it will simply leave it in the buffer. So I am supposed to clear that buffer. How do I clear that buffer? You know very well that uh, if the enter sign is there in the buffer, and if you read a string, it simply is given to the string. So here, let's look at uh, the our program now. I'm going to minimize this, and I'm going to stop my program. And I'm going to come out, uh, so I'll stop the program. I don't know what is running. So I'm going to just stop that program. So here, what is happening is when I type, when the account number is, if I type one, two, three, four, and then press enter symbol here, then I press enter. So this one, two, three, four, whatever I have typed will be stored in the account number. But the enter sign that I'm typing after typing the number, will be given to the next line and that will be stored in the type of account which i don't want to happen so this is what um, i don't want to, uh, such thing to happen so what am i supposed to do so you know very well if you if you read a number so if you look at here if you read a number that is uh, this kind of thing that enter sign will remain, it will not be read, it will remain in the buffer and it will be given to the new line. So how to get rid of this uh, enter sign from the buffer? It's very simple to get rid of this uh, enter sign from the buffer. What you need to do is you need to use this uh, next line. If you uh, do that thing, it's going to consume that. So what I'm going to do is, 
because that is left over there i'm going to go over here and i'm going to simply write read next line so what happens when you read the next line this if you look at her here so what we had uh, no, I simply clicked something so what we had here is uh, this number one two three four and then i pressed this uh, enter symbol so what happened one two three four was consumed by the account number or one one two three four was given to the account number which is an integer and this enter sign which was there is now given to this where is it going to st be stored i don't want it to be get stored i just want to remove it from the buffer so it will be left in the buffer that enter sign will be left in the buffer i just want to clear that thing there's no way i can clear it so i just read it and then put it in vacuum so wherever it goes it just uh, be there let me run it now and let's see how is it going to work now so i'm going to type my name and i'm going to type the account number one two three four and you notice that it has come so uh, you know very well there is something called as current account so i'm going to say current account simply and the minimum deposit is 499 now this could this must generate a error why this must generate an error because we know very well so my program is not doing it is not complete uh, as you know that um, the minimum deposit is 500 so minimum imbalance must be 500 so if you type something less than 500 the account should not be created so let's go over here after this after we read this balance and we are going to check what is the balance so if the balance that uh, is read is less than 500 then we are not supposed to create the account why because we know that uh, the minimum balance according to the question what is the minimum balance according to the question they say that the minimum balance is 500 so you cannot start the account with uh, that much uh, that less than 500 so if it is less than 500 what, what am i supposed to do i can't do many things except that i can show an error message okay uh, let's say sorry your account cannot be created i can just say cannot be created okay and let me give one more uh, message over here so that they know what is going on okay minimum of how much minimum of 500 minimum of rupees say 500 should be maintained in your account okay so that's simple as that so what i'm saying is an account cannot be created minimum of that okay after that what i'm going to do i don't want to proceed with the program so what i'm going to do after that what am i supposed to do after that i'm going to just come out of the program so how do i come out of this program i'm going to say system dot exit with the zero or the, you know you i think you probably have done this thing in your c program wherein you try to exit the program abruptly so you just close the program because there is no point in doing anything now let's go ahead and let's uh, uh, see the other part suppose if the balance is more than 500 what am i supposed to do i am supposed to create a bank account object so let me go slightly above here and let me create an um, bank account object i'll call it as ba okay so i just call this as ba a bank account object let me initialize that bank account object how do i do that thing so ba equal to so what is ba by the way it is not a bachelor of uh, arts ba is the bank account it's object of type uh, bank account so it's a variable like how you have balance with a variable of type double similarly is a variable of type bank account 
I to initialize this. How do you initialize uh, this? So I'm going to say new bank account. So you get that thing. Now the Linux uh, with the uh, what is NetBeans is powerful enough to get the things in order. So if you notice over here, what it has done is uh, it has taken this uh, account number. So what is this uh, account number? Account number, if you look at the constructor, let me go to the constructor and just uh, show you what are the first thing it is taking. It is taking the account number. This is a constructor that you have just created. Takes account number, then account name, then account type, then initial amount. And the net means what it does is it just says okay account number is a string so i'm going to take this uh, uh, account number is an integer so it takes that first parameter then the person's name which is the account name then the type of account then the balance so everything is creative for us so we have all done next thing what am i supposed to uh, do next thing according to the program they have said that you are supposed to show a menu, show a menu, and then ask the user to deposit, withdraw, or display. So let's create a menu. Okay. So what do you call this one? Okay. So I'm going to just give this one. Okay. Transaction. Let me call this as transactions. You perform the transaction afterwards. Once you create an account, you perform the transaction. So let me, uh, because uh, you know very well, uh, you've done it in C program. So do it a uh, bit nicely. So you have this uh, transactions. So first transaction. Yes, so if you press one, what is that you're going to do? You're going to deposit. If you press 2, what are you going to do? If you press 2, you are going to withdraw. Okay. What about uh, if you press 3? If you press uh, 3, I'm going to just say yes out. Oh, it is always already there. Okay. If you press 3, uh, what am I going to do? I'm going to show details. That's it and uh, then yes out but if, if you press 4 if you press 4 exit program so i think that is enough for me okay and then i'm going to say yes out these are all menu okay to make it uh, slightly beautiful i think uh, you'll have to make it beautiful still more it has to come Okay, and then I think one is enough. Okay, so let me yes out here, and I'm going to say, uh, please, okay, and uh, your choice, okay, and uh, let me make it as a print, not the print line, so that uh, it will come in this one, and also I'm going to do some. Housekeeping work of making it a bit pleasing. Okay, I think, I think that is enough. Okay, that's that's more much more this one. I want uh, it to come after some time, so I will just put slash here to make it uh, uh, beautiful. So this is just I'm just making it uh, beautiful. Now I have to store that choice here. Let me go out and just uh, take uh, int and let me say choice. Uh, if you want to default is always exit, you just want to exit it. So I'm going to initialize it with four. Okay, so you are reading it. Let's say choice. Choice is in dot get, get not get. I have this next int. So you get the choice. So you are asking for the choice. Okay. So this is simple. You show the display and you just ask for the choice. 
Now you say switch based on. So you see this so SW and if you press, uh, I think uh, you should get it. So switch and uh, based on the value of choice. I usually it shows you the full switch statement, but uh, so it doesn't, it's not showing now. Okay, so I have uh, the switch statement. I have the case here. Case one, you are supposed to do something. I'll do it later. So case one, you are supposed to do it something. And I'm going to just uh, paste it to just uh, show you that. I'm just writing the skeleton here. Case two, you are supposed to do something. And let me do the other part. Case three, you are supposed to do something. And um, let me bring it down here. Case four, you are supposed to do something. So this is what you are supposed to do. And there is something called as, uh, let me bring it here so, so that it uh, uh, default. You know, in Java, that the default is also. So case one, what is the case one? A deposit. So how do you deposit? First, you ask the money, so yes, out, okay. Enter the amount to be deposited or something. Enter the amount. Let me ask only that because they know that. Again, I'm going to remove this uh, yelling so that it comes uh, here. Let me uh, get that uh, amount. I'm going to just go up. And you can put it here. See, some of you have a habit of just putting a comma and doing it. I will do it uh, in the other way around. Uh, nobody is going to shoot you down if you write like this. Okay. So this is an amount that I'm trying to read it. So let me say amount equal to in dot get a not I'm by I'm writing this next double. So you got this uh, amount, okay? And what is that uh, you are supposed to do? You are supposed to call the bank account and then deposit it. Deposit the amount. Now, when you deposit the amount, if you look at here, when you deposit this uh, amount, okay? So it is just saying that uh, your variable is not uh, initialized, okay? may be initialized. So it is just saying that the variable is not uh, initialized. So what am I uh, supposed to do with this uh, problem? So here it just says that uh, if uh, you come over here and uh, uh, if this variable is not initialized, then you may have some problem. Okay. Uh, the way around is uh, I'm going to just remove this else part and I'm going to just uh, use this. Uh, this is not something wrong. Okay, I'm just avoiding that uh, behave, otherwise the program will not compile. Now, if you remove this else part, what did I do over here? If the balance is less than 500, you exit. You exit the program. Otherwise, this is what I said. Otherwise, you, sorry, otherwise, you do this part, okay? So otherwise, now if you put it inside that otherwise, the Java compiler thinks that it might not have been called. So this program, this part might not have been called. So there is a chance that uh, your program may not uh, run. So it just says that uh, it is better you initialize. So what I, what if you don't write the else also in this particular logic, it's going to work fine. Why? If the deposit is less than 500, your program is going to exit unconditionally. It's going to close the program. If your program is not closed, that means if somehow if you have reached over here, that means you have a deposit more than 500. So that's simple as that. If your deposit is less than 500, you will not reach to this line because your program will unconditionally exit. Without doing anything, it will simply exit at this line. If you somehow if your program has come up to this point means this thing is not getting exe executed. So if you write else part, the logically that is correct. 
But uh, for the Java, if you do this, let me show you this. If I do this, if I put this else here, it is not wrong. There is no crime here. But the problem is Java thinks that that uh, may not work. So it just says that, see, variable BA might not have been initialized. So because it is there in the else, but you know very well, if you write else, what is the meaning? Either if get executed or else part will get executed. Both of them will not execute. So Java thinks that if, if part gets executed, okay, that means else part will not get executed. So if the else part is not executed, and if you come to this line, Java thinks like that. If you come to this line, then there is that variable is not initialized. That means object is not found. Then your entire program will crash. So it just uh, says that this is not proper. Even though I know very well that if the if part gets executed, then the program can never come to this line because of this statement, which is going to break the program. I know that, but the Java thinks that that uh, is not the condition. So Java just thinks that uh, your program will come to the other part also with the if, then uh, your program will crash. So I will not compile. So to just to please the Java, I'm going to remove this else part. Is it wrong? The answer is no, it is not wrong. Why? Because if the if part gets executed, your program just gets destroyed. It will be just exited. If it is not, then whole thing will start. Okay, so now you notice that there is no error. Just to please the Java, I am supposed to change my logic. What to do? Now let's look at uh, this uh, deposit method. That's very important. If I go to this deposit method in the bank account where I wrote this deposit, you notice that the deposit actually returns the balance. Okay, so let's uh, do that. Okay, so let's do uh, this whole thing. Okay, uh, the amount that uh, it is a balance that is uh, being shown. Let's show it to the user. When I say let's do means uh, let's show it to the user. So user has deposited. If nothing happens, then the user gets confused. Hey, what's, what happened? My, what about my balance? I deposited something. Where is the, my money? They may ask that thing. So I'm going to just say uh, balance, whatever it is returning. Look at this method. Whatever that method is returning, whatever that method is returning, so it's going to return that uh, balance. After adding, it's going to return that balance. And I'm going to get that balance in my program. So in my main program, I would get that balance. Whatever that is written, I'm going to get it. And I'm going to just uh, uh, show that um, a thing to the user. Okay, so how do you show it? Uh, you know very well as out. Okay, current balance is, okay, I'm going to show that thing. Current balance is, let me show it a bit uh, beautifully, balance. So after depositing, what is your balance? I'm going to just show that. Similarly, let me do the same uh, thing with the, which one? Withdrawal. So case two, what is the case two? Case two is withdrawal. So if you press case two, it is going to withdraw. So again, I'm going to ask the same question. Enter the amount. Okay. And as usual, I'm not going to use the print LN. I'm going to use the print. And again, I'm going to get this amount. Amount is equal to in dot next double. You got that thing. Again, I'm going to go to my bank account, BA, and I'm going to say withdraw and the amount. So I'm going to just type that thing, withdraw and amount. Okay. Let's go to the bank account here. Let's go to the bank account class. And what does the withdrawal will do? Withdrawal will check and check and check and finally it's going to return the balance amount. It's going to return the balance amount. So it's going to return the balance amount. Let's get that. Let me come back to my main program. So when I call, it's going to return my balance. Let me take that uh, B A L A N C E into uh, a variable. And let's uh, show this one again. Same thing, current balance. 
if you want uh, current balance is so that uh, english people are also happy and balance okay that's done last uh, last part uh, what about the case three what about this case three case three is okay show the details so how do we show the details you know in uh, this bank account what do i have this display details it's going to show the details so let me call that thing so it is simple as that so b a dot what is the get the detail what did i use what was the method okay display details so one method was the display detail okay what about um, the case for case for b a i'm oh, sorry a case for i'm going to say yes out and exiting and put exiting and we are supposed to exit it okay, that's all what about uh, uh, if you type a uh, 10 years so there are only three choices are there some people don't know and uh, you know you people are also doing like that in the examination uh, they are asking they will give five questions answer any three questions they are asking and uh, you will answer all the five questions they have explicitly mentioned that you answer any three question means answer only three question why do you answer extra two question you're not going to get any marks for that so in the same way there are people who are given a choice one two three four and they may enter the choice ten to see what is going to happen for them we have to politely say something so what is that polite answer that we are going to say please enter a number okay between one and four uh, including if you want you can also write okay so that's it now if you look at this one this thing has to be repeated again and again and again and again so once you create an account you can uh, uh, keep on doing something so uh, they said that you show the menu from here so use the menu for this thing let me put that menu so what's uh, how do you get this thing uh, from here from this place to this place has to be repeated how much time this has to be repeated so you can deposit it you can withdraw it you can display it you can do it many a times how many times will you do it until you press the four if you press the four that means it's all gone so let's put the do while loop you know this do while loop so let me put this do and let me just go to this uh, where is the uh, closing bracket do while what is the while while choice is not equal to four because you know very well if the choice is equal to four you are going to come out of the program so as simple as that let me save it and let me give it a try i may have to fix here and there uh, don't expect me to get the answer in one shot so let me show it here so name is so let me say my name the account number is one 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 okay that's it account type is savings so you know there is something called a savings account in bank okay i don't know whether you are familiar with that if you are not familiar at least you heard it for the first time that there is a savings account in bank so let me say the initial balance is 500 rupees that's nice press enter and you get the choice what's choice one for deposit let me deposit it so how am i going to how much money i'm going to deposit i'm going to deposit uh, 10 rupees so press enter so 510 is the current balance correct 500 was the original and i just entered 10 rupees so 510 so let me slightly go here so again uh you are uh, it is asking okay please enter your choice one again enter the amount minus 10. okay so what does it says okay 
please enter a positive amount. Still, my balance is 510. Why? It is uh, nothing will happen. Okay, if you you can't do it. Okay, so let's go for the second choice. What's my second choice? Withdraw. Withdrawing. Let's withdraw it. Withdraw something. So how much I can withdraw? I am going to withdraw five rupees. So if I remove five, see look at my current balance. Current balance was 510. If I remove five rupees from now, what's going to happen? I am supposed to, so 510 was there, current balance is 505, okay, that's nice. Let me try to remove it one more time, so I'm going to say to withdrawal for two, so look at this one, withdrawal for two, that's nice, press enter, and I am going to say, okay, so what, 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 what how much, minus five. Okay, so minus 5 means, uh, what does it say? Okay, see, please uh, enter the positive number. You can't do this. So enter the positive number and what's the balance? Balance is same. Okay, so now let's go for the next one too. Again, now very, very dangerous. I mean, remove 10 rupees. Why did I say dangerous? 505, if I remove it, 495. But you know very well, according to the question, what does the question say? Our question says very straightforward. The minimum checking balance should be that. That's the essence of the program. That's why I said it is more dangerous. Now this is very, very important. So let's say we are here. Enter. And what is withdrawal? I think my, my spelling is wrong here. Okay. Uh, let me have to go to English class. Uh, let me ask the English lecturer and find out what is it. English professor will tell me what is the spelling of that. But assume that that's a withdrawal. So withdrawal is not permitted as it will result in minimum balance less than so on. So for nothing happened. It is not possible. Okay. And uh, what is the last thing that uh, we can do? Number three for show details. Show me the details. Uh, oh, so. You have some uh, problem over here. What's the problem? You get the account number proper. Depositor name is to be shifted. Yes. Saving account should have come here. Yes. And 505 should have come here. So some tab adjustment has to be done. So I will have to do that one part. Why inner part adjustment is there. Let me make it as four, which is exit the program. So am I able to exit the, yes, we are coming out of the program. Everything is going fine except to that. I need, I think, this is what I feel like. I need to go to where? My bank account. And there, I think I need one more tab. That's it. Double tab is required. Let me try it one more time. I just put one tab in the display account. One tab is missing. I told you I am not going to do it in one shot. So let me try it one more time. Okay, so that's my name. And one uh, zero one zero. So binary numbers are there. You studied that. Okay, account type is. Uh, do you know that uh, there is something called as fixed account? Uh, uh, three. See, I am not going to do it because fixed amount you can't try do anything with it. Okay, so let me go for current. Okay, even though fixed uh, is there, but fixed means the word itself say it is fixed. You can't do anything with that. So that's why I don't want to create problems to the bankers. Uh, let me say current account. That's nice, and you know very well. Uh, I am going to how much? Uh, see, I'll uh, start with 600 rupees as my amount. Yeah, that's it. Now, I the rest part will remain same. Uh, there is no change except the number three, which is creating a problem. Am I getting it? Oh yes, I missed. Uh, I think I should have started over here. I put the tab here. And I am supposed to put the tab here. And I think one need one more tab is required. See, these are all minor adjustments, so don't expect uh, uh, anybody to do this. I want after this, I want a tab. You see here output. Uh, the thing is, 
uh, if you look at here, uh, this part should have gone here. So some minor variation. And I think, uh, let me try one more time. Now this is, program is still running. Why? Because uh, I have to press 4 for exiting my program. You know, the reality it does some wonderful thing here and said that if you press 4 only the program will come. Uh, let me run it. Okay. I think uh, I'm done with it. Um, my name should be there at least. I must know the spelling of my name. Okay. So let me say two, 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 two. That's my account. And there is something I know only two, three accounts, savings and uh, current and so on. Deposit is say 700 rupees. I'm increasing deposit with every choice. Let me say three is my choice because uh, I'm stuck with the three. Oh, I forgot the, what did I do? I forgot this uh, slash T. Okay, I think uh, uh, I will stop the video uh, because uh, these are minor adjustment. Okay, you put the tab and uh, then play around to see how much uh, uh, it's going to go. Uh, now let me, I have one uh, other thing to be said. You see this uh, number over here and I told you that uh, some people will write 1, 2, 3, 4. Other people will write 5 to see what's going to happen. So for them, you are giving a choice saying that please enter a valid number between 1 and 5. Okay. So you just remind them that uh, that's not going to work. Let me uh, save and run it one more time just to get, uh, I think uh, it's going to take my whole night if I try to do it. So I, if it is not coming, I'm going to just stop it. I assume that uh, you know what is the problem. Okay, the problem is with the tab. For those who are uh, not familiar, I am to do the adjustment, I have to play around. So initial deposit, uh, let me go for um, 800 rupees. And the only thing now I'm stuck with is uh, the tab which is not playing, it is not coming. Okay, I'm somehow, my name is coming and one extra tab is there. I think that tab has to be shifted to the other side. So I think this will be the last thing I'm trying. So I will put four for exit. Let me do this. I'm going to remove this tab from here because the name is uh, coming, I think, uh, yeah, and uh, I'll put this last T here, the last thing, okay? So what did I do is uh, I just put the T here, tab here, and I removed this tab from the name. Hope uh, the things are working fine. Let me try, last but one, okay? So let me say uh, some other name. So I'm, uh, let's say Reka, uh, her account number is 4501, some number. Account type is, uh, she is having current account and uh, she has deposited just 500 rupees. Okay, let's uh, look at uh, her account details. And what happened is uh, you have to play around, okay? I hope uh, you get this one. If, uh, uh, you will excuse me if I don't complete it. I have to just put the tab here. Okay. Uh, how many tabs I have to put? Uh, you check this tab part here. Uh, either you have to put one tab extra here, one tab extra there, somehow it's going to come. So that you have to do it. I will, uh, will not be going with that uh, whole thing again and again because it will take my whole night if I start uh, doing this. However, I need, I want to show you something that uh, is going to happen. So let's run the program, okay. Let's start with the Ravi. So let's see what Ravi is going to do. Ravi is an intelligent guy. So he is going to start with the account number and he is going to start with the current account. However, Ravi is going to say that I will start with 499 rupees. Okay, one rupee less than 500. So this is the initial deposit. When the account is start, it's going to press enter and do you notice that, oh, sorry, your account cannot be created. Minimum of 500 rupees should be maintained in your balance. 
And you notice that I am not getting uh, choice one for uh, depositing, choice two for withdrawal. It is not there because the program simply ended. Okay, hope you get that thing. Let me show you because uh, I am supposed to, I am responsible for showing you the full running program. Hope uh, this is going to do. So let me save money and I will take the rest. Okay. Account number one, two, three, four. Account type is current account and uh, deposit is 560. And the only thing that I'm going to show you this time is uh, how do you display it? Oh, and somehow I came almost there. I was actually almost there. Ah, but unfortunately it went off. Okay, I, I'm, I'm going to leave it to you as a maybe a homework i'm not giving you homework for a longer time i'll give it as a homework to you uh, to fix that problem uh, with the what is that uh, fixed problem you don't have to uh, do uh, dug a tunnel uh, only thing is you have to go here which where is this uh, bank account and display and then fix this uh, uh, tab amount uh, to get uh, a beautiful out by the way, let me press the my magic number and what is my magic number to come out of it? I am supposed to write four and the program should end. So that's all in uh, this exercise. Uh, we're going to meet again in the next class. Thank you for your interest. We will stop.